Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade, and welcome to Broke Rock Season 6.5. So, do you like my new shield? It's supposed to be a D. I think it looks like a D. It's not too bad. I think it's okay. But, you know, I, I like it. It's red and, red and black and a few different um, thingy-me bobs in the old uh, thingy-me device over there, the loomy device thingy-me jig. Yeah, so I think that's looking pretty cool. <laughs> As much as I like that shield, um, I think I think we should just get cut to the chase and get into the episode, shall we? Um, so yeah, it's um, it's been quite a busy um, week or two, last couple of weeks or so. Um, what was quite interesting is that Love Dust was away on holiday in Greece. So, being me, I took the opportunity to. Leave her a present. Shall we have a look, see what it is? <laughs> okay, let's uh, discuss this. So, basically, what I've done, um, I've built a small chamber in a secret location. Um, and in that chamber, there's a chicken, a pressure plate, a piece of redstone dust, a note block, and a bell on top of the note block so what will happen is um every now and then the chicken will walk across the pressure plate which will activate the redstone which will hit the note block and make the bell go dong so it's it's quite random the only downside to it is that you could still hear the chicken clucking clucking away and that could give away his location so I got a bit devious. I loaded some chickens up um, inside her house. Uh, there don't seem to be many left, so I'm, I'm guessing she she may have cleared um, those away. But what I did, uh, also did, is I tied one up out here on the balcony. And I tied a couple up out here ear which seemed to have fell in an owl so basically with the noise of those as well plus the um secret chicken um it will make it that little bit harder to find i'm suspecting um i haven't heard the bell go off yet but i'm sure we will hear it and here's the signs um announcing it i also put those two trap door downs two trap doors that that trap doors down i put the trap doors down i did um i hear you like annoyance machines for whom the bell tolls enjoy your present now this comes from an episode um of broke rock uh from one of love dust um episodes so if you've been following her you would have seen it i think it was uh episode uh, episode 20 where she was um pranking i mean welcoming home um kai and Jax, and she was talking about annoyance machines and how she loves them and it's all there in recording i have the evidence so this is why this was been done i just want to stay until we can so we can hear the bell are we going to wear the bell i don't think we're going to wear the bell maybe we will maybe we won't are we going to wear the bell? Haven't heard it yet. Gonna do it. Come on, bell. Do your ding. No, you're not going to ding for us. Not even a ding or a dong. Okay, then. Be like that. <laughs> like I said, I do have the um, evidence. And let's just run a little clip now, just to uh, show you what I'm talking about. Maybe I had some noise machines. <laughs> uh, if they get mad, blame old guy. I saw it in an old guy video. He's got some bad influence on me. <laughs> I saw an annoyance machine. I want to make it. <laughs> and there you have it. I rest my case. Now, me and Love Dust, we're working on a trading hall uh, project, which is going to be just over there. 
and I shall get round to uh, giving you a little progress update on that. We needed lots and lots of basalt for this. Uh, <laughs> loved us, went off to the never on her own, tried to swim in lava. Not once, but twice. Oh, dear. Um, I, and I know how that feels because I lost a shed load of um, awesome stuff by trying to swim in lava. So I went off to the never and I found a really nice safe place. I had my golden boots on, I had a carved pumpkin head on, and it was quite an enclosed area, and I managed to get 15 stacks of basalt. However, it wasn't enough. It did it did a lot, but it wasn't enough. So I built a basalt generator, and, um, yeah, let's go and take a look at that now. So here we have the basalt generator. And it's been built in Love Dust's basement. Um, obviously, um, Love Dust gave her permission for this. In fact, it was um, kind of her suggestion. So <laughs> um, I duly agreed and went ahead and did it. Um, all we have, we have a double chest there. Um, we have some a lava sauce there. We've got blue ice there. And is that so that's soil soil that we have there. And there's a minecart with hopper underneath there. The two levers are for the... There's a powered rail this side and a powered rail that side. That just basically um, turns those, turn those powered rails on so the minecart keeps moving backwards and forwards to collect and distribute um, the basalt. And it's uh, quite a good one. So if I stand, uh, stand here and let's go. Um, it is, it is pretty good. Um, obviously, um, some of the basalt will jump out into your inventory, and I think occasionally the odd one will jump out um, underneath it. But overall, it's um, pretty efficient, and you know, it's infinite basalt, isn't it? Really? Um, yeah. So the piece there, look. Um, so if we open the chest bang that in and yeah so that's pretty cool and that comes in handy for um for the trading all as i mentioned it's a very nice basalt generator and like i say infinite basalt and you know it's quite quite a nice block you know i, I quite like it um so what else have we been up to well, um, I mentioned the trading order, didn't I? Now, it's not completed. Um, we've got a lot of villagers um, prepared, but obviously they need to be put in the place. Um, the building is more or less completed, just a bit more to do. Um, and once that's complete, then we can get the villagers in place. So let's take a quick look at that, shall we? Okay, so here we are at the entrance to our trading hall. And... Um, it's not looking too bad. We made the hole smaller here. Uh, Love Duds did a bit of terraforming here, and it, uh, yeah, it looks better than what it did originally. So let's go in. So we've got some roots hanging there. Um, nah, I like these. These, um, are. These are, uh, what are they? Oh gosh, they are polished deep slate stairs, which I think really um, clicks in well with, with the basalt. It re really works because originally this was just grass blocks down here. So I added, uh, I added these in to give that. But look at this, look at all this lovely basalt used. Um, Love Dust made this um, entrance here, and I just added a few little bits on there. But all this floor, which you can see, which is absolutely stunning. It's it's amazing. Love Dust designed and built all of this. These basalt walls, um, she built all that. Obviously, the roof, which is done, which is now starting to come come to life um because of 
what we decided to do over here. We decided to add a balcony here. Again, Love Dust built this balcony and she built this first part of the decoration. But then I finished the rest of the decoration off and I had a, a, a little centerpiece there. So let's have a look. Ta -da! So what I did is I added a painting there, perfectly centered. Um, I just did some jiggery pokey, jiggery pokey with this uh, centerpiece decoration. And the reason why I wanted to focus on that is it, it you might not notice, but uh, part of it is a bit covered up, which is why it just made sense to make it look a bit different from these two on either side. As I say, Love Dust did that first one and then I just copied and uh, got these filled in. Um, I went with um, a couple of plant pots either side um, of the painting and we got torch flowers in there. Now, torch flowers, oh my gosh. We get torch flowers from sniffers. So, luckily, Love Dust has a sniffer farm. So I spent about an hour or so just hanging around there waiting for the sniffers to hand out some um, some torch flowers and it took ages. Well, torch flower seeds, should I say, which I then had to plant and grow. And when you harvest them, they don't give you any seeds back. So the only way you can get torch flower seeds is from sniffers. So I've got a few uh, spare, but yeah, I think, um, I think that looks nice. And as you can see, this is why we needed the uh, the basalt generator. I mean, we've just used absolutely loads here. So as I say, um, you know, Love Dust has done the majority of the of the work on this place, and I've just added a few touches here. Um, in fairness, um, I've kind of rounded up and traded with most of the villagers to get some of their traders locked in. Some of these are still are not locked in, but some are there. Um, just need to get that there, don't I? And I've got some more villagers over here. There's another four inside here. And these have got their trades locked in. Uh, let's have a look. What's he got? I'm breaking. Oh, no. Smite 5. Yeah, he's he's on Smite 5. Who's, who's this guy on? We've got Frostwalker 2, Fortune 2. Impaling two and power five, which is nice. Um, this guy, we've got efficiency five. Bane of amphipods, I don't know if we'll use that. Not back, probably won't use that, but efficiency. Uh, this guy, we've got fire aspect one, fortune three. So two good ones um, on him. Um, we've got, have we got an unbreaking guy? I can't remember now. What's this guy? He's unbreaking two. Unbreaking two, unbreaking two, but I thought we had an unbreaking three. I, I know we've got definitely got a mending. Is this the mending guy? No, this is the unbreaking three guy. Oh, I know where the mending guy is. He's in um, Love Dust Villager Casa thing. So we could either bring him over to our trading hall or we can just make a, another mending guy because we've, obviously we've got our little villager breeder here. Um, I, I built this and uh, Love Dust helped me with the finishing touches when we were struggling to get the other other guy in there. We had to use a piston and all sorts of jiggery pokery. Um, we breed them with potatoes, so I built a little potato um, farm there. Just It's just manually, you know, it's nothing too fancy, but, you know, we don't need an automated one. And over here we have our cartographer, which we need to trade with so we can get the trial explorer map and do some trials so this uh this trading all is looking absolutely awesome and i'm really loving this it, it's just really popping i don't know if we'll be making um another balcony at all and we haven't really decided what sort of pods we're going to use for the villagers but we're probably going to have some up here as well, so we could probably have, um, let's have a look. We could have two there, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, and another six, forty. So it could get about fourteen villagers up here just in this balcony alone. And then we've got all this, uh, all this extra space here. So yeah, I, I really do like this trading hall. Um, Love Dust has done an absolutely amazing job here, and I can't wait for it to be uh, be finished so we can start getting the villagers in. And she, Love Dust plans on getting this finished very soon. So I'm really happy with the um, the progress of the trading hall. I think it's going to look absolutely awesome. I mean, it already looks awesome. Uh, what else have we been up to? Oh, well, we've made some more progress um, on the castle. Um, I've done quite a bit of terraforming. Um, I've added some a bit of detail to the towers, um, such as windows um, or window type things. Just I, I, technically, I, don't, I guess they're not windows. It, it's just basically um, a bit of detail in that just makes the towers pop as opposed to having them just look all, all plain and static. Uh, also, I've done some more templating um, on the castle build to give an idea of, of, of what's going to be done. So let's go and take a let's go and take a look at that, shall we? So as you can see, we've got all this uh, terraforming um, in place now. Um, Built some more of the wall. Uh, I'm just gonna look up there. We've got the. Ah, I don't want to fall in the water. <laughs> got a template of, of that bit done there. But here, what I like about this, look at this. I knew I'd find somewhere to put this um, awesome piece of artwork from um, Old Guy, if you remember from a previous episode. Um, he, he created this and it's absolutely awesome. And I thought, could think of no better place to put it than up there. And my two, uh, just as my shield design, um, these are two banners that basically, <laughs> well, you know, you need the banner first before you can add it to the shield, don't you? So um, one on either side, and I think that looks, um, I think that looks quite good. Uh, let's just have a walk in here. Um, ignore that because that was something I was just experimenting with, which is not going to happen now. Um, but yeah. Um, I was talking about adding an extra building here at the back, so I thought I'd make a, a nice little archway that will take us under. Um, I haven't decided how far out it's going to go yet, but I did have to do some terraforming to widen um, this area and flatten it out um, a bit more. So we've got plenty of space. Um, I think it's gonna probably come out maybe 21 blocks or 15 blocks and decided so if it's funny oh gosh so I still need to do some more terraforming don't I so I forgot um, I did all this terraforming here and then I made this wider <laughs> made this cap wider so uh, yeah, so we're going to have to do, what, another... Uh, get on this row here. So we're going to need one, two... Another three rows and out that way. Uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of dirt around. I can get that sorted out. But it, it's going to look good. And over here, as I say, that's the template for the front bit done. Um... I haven't done the template here yet, but I'm really excited to get working on that. Um, let's go and have a look at these um, these towers, the detailing. So inside, we've got the steps that go up. Now, on the inside, the windows look small and, and square, you know, which is fine. But wait till you see them from the outside. Um, I just built a, um, a couple of bees nests un under here because I think it, it, it merges in quite well um, with the mud bricks and it removes that gap that was there, um, which, you know, could look a bit look a bit silly. And I've done the same thing um, at the other tower, so I'm trying to uh, mimic the design so that both towers um, do look the same. Uh, so... 
Yeah. So here's the windows that I was talking about. And I think it just um, breaks up that flatness, if you like. So we have two there. Obviously, there's going to be one up there, which is going to be the top. And then we have two on this side and one up there. And I've done exactly the same, um, mimicked it over on that tower over there. Um, so all we just need to do now is um, get some more progress made on this castle. So I think that's what I'm going to do today, do a bit more work on this, and I'll come back to you with an update later. So we've done a lot more work on the, on the castle. We now have symmetry towels. Towers, towels, not towels, towers. <laughs> they're not towels, or they could be towels, but they're towers. Symmetry towers are now completed, even with little flags of them as well. And I'm happy with the progress uh, being made here. It's looking quite nice. Um, we can have a look in, inside the towers at another time, but yeah. The castle is um, coming along nicely, and I don't think I shown what I did at the front as well. I've done just put some banners over these lights. That just makes it look a lot better. It used to, from a distance, that actually looked like a cross here, but yeah, it uh, looks a bit nicer now. And, and our main entrance with the D banners either side and the awesome uh, broke rock design the old guy made that be there <laughs> that's the best place to put it i think i love it it's awesome and looking from this side we can see i've put most of that back wall it's not going to stay plain like that though obviously i've got some uh, detail in and i've got an idea for it and i think it's going to look quite uh, quite cool when i put the design on it also need to get the floor done and i've done this little template here uh, where the hopefully I, I, I'm hoping I can put my portal in here because we're gonna have another um, tower here but it's gonna be a, a, a tower with a difference uh, you'll see that later and I'll explain more as I'm building or, or when it's completed and over here I'm gonna have a nice room coming out and it's gonna come out about here I'm not sure if I'm happy with this design, but so far it look, it, it it looks all right. I'll have to see as I'm building it. I might have to might have to change it a bit, and you know, got to get all this uh, floor done as well. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the with the progress being made. It's all looking looking hunky dory, as they say, and I do love the flag. The flags look quite cool. I uh, used end rods for the flagpole, and it's amazing our end rods actually do look like uh, actual flagpoles, which is nice. We now have more or less automatic uh, compost um, here at our wheat and honey farm. Just put whatever you want composting in this chest, and it all goes through, gets composted, comes down, and comes down into this chest. That's pretty cool. And I just want to show you the trading hall. This trading hall is amazing, um, what Love Does designed, and as I say, built the majority of. I added little bits, but yeah, this is mainly Love Does work. And it looks awesome. I got some more uh, traders into their little into their little pods. And yeah, look at this. Isn't this good? This is good. This is, <laughs> this is beyond good. It's just absolutely great i love it and we're gonna have all the trades we've still got some space up there for some and we've got space up there for some and we're gonna do something a bit different around here which should finish it off nicely and look really cool so there we have it now i'm hoping to have the castle done for next episode if it's not it should be mostly done but i'm gonna really try that's the the main aim and objective now to get this castle fully completed for the next episode but look at those flags i really love the, love those flags how, how they worked out and how it, how it all came together so i'm really happy and that's all we have time for in this episode so i'll catch you in the next one bye